Summary of Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng The story begins in 1977. Lydia Lee is dead, but her family only knows that because she hasn't shown up for breakfast. Lydia's mom, Marilyn, goes to her room to look for her but can't find her. Everything is where it should be, but Lydia is nowhere to be found. Nath and Hannah, two of Lydia's brothers, go to school while Marilyn starts to worry that something bad may have happened. James, Marilyn's husband, is at work at Middlewood College, where he has no idea that anything is wrong. James has been teaching American history for a long time. When Louisa Chen, one of his graduate student teaching assistants, knocks on his door, they talk about the work of their pupils. Stanley Hewitt walks in on them while they are talking, which James finds annoying. Marilyn then calls James and asks him to come home. When they get back to Lydia's house, the cops tell her family that teenagers often run away because they are mad at their parents, but that most of them come home within 24 hours. Officer Fisk asks James about a time 11 years ago when Marilyn went missing. James quickly says that this was just a misunderstanding. James and Marilyn make a list of Lydia's friends after the cops leave. Nath doesn't say anything, but he knows that Lydia doesn't know any of the girls on the list. Her only friend is the Lee's neighbor, Jack Wolf, whom Nath hates very much. James and Marilyn call all the girls they think are Lydia's friends, but Nath doesn't say anything about Jack. Hannah, on the other hand, doesn't say that she saw Lydia walk across the front yard away from the house at 2 a.m. the night before. The next day, someone walks by and sees a rowboat in the middle of the lake at the end of Lee's Street. James is asked by the cops if Lydia can swim, and he says she can't. The next day, Lydia's body is found in the water. The story goes back to Marilyn's freshman year at Radcliffe, a women's college at Harvard University, in 1955. Marilyn is a good student who wants to become a doctor. However, both her male classmates and teachers are against her because they think she is a woman. Doris Walker, Marilyn's mother, is a home economics teacher who has never left her hometown in Virginia. She is a very traditional person. In her second year of high school, Marilyn takes a new class called the Cowboy in American Culture. James, the teacher, is a graduate student in the history department and the first Oriental, Asian American, person Marilyn has ever seen. He is a big attraction for her. Marilyn goes to James' office during his office hours after the first lesson and gives him a kiss. They become close very quickly. James was born in California to Chinese immigrants who worked in the cafeteria of Lloyd Academy, a small boarding school that James went to after passing the entrance test at age six. James goes on to get his bachelor's and master's degrees at Harvard, but he never feels like he belongs in American society. In the spring after she meets James, Marilyn finds out she is pregnant. She and James quickly get married. Doris tells Marilyn at the wedding, it's not right for her to marry James. After that, Marilyn never talks to her mother again. Back in 1977, Lydia dies, and the Lees go to her wake. After the service, Nath asks Jack some rude questions, and James tells him he's acting wrong. The storyteller says that Jack's mother, Janet, leaves him alone while she works as a doctor at the hospital, and that Jack is known at his school for taking girls' virginities. Later that day, Nath sees that Jack and Janet are being questioned by the police, so he listens in on their talk. Jack tells the cops that Lydia was always sad because of her bad grades, her parents, and the fact that Nath is about to leave for Harvard. In the meantime, James has gone to his office to read the report on Lydia's death. Louisa knocks on his office door while she is there. James's face showed that he was scared, so she offered to make him lunch at her flat. They go home and sleep together right away. That night, James slept well for the first time since Lydia died. The story goes back 11 years, to when Lydia was five and Hannah hadn't been born yet. Marilyn asks Tom Lawson, a chemistry professor, if he would hire her as a study assistant at the Middlewood Christmas party. He tells her that he is willing to think about it as long as James doesn't mind. Marilyn finds out that Doris has died in the spring. 
She goes to Virginia to pack up her mother's things, but the only thing that reminds her of Doris is her favorite Betty Crocker recipe, which Marilyn takes home with her. The guide has recipes and tips for keeping a happy, peaceful home. For example, it says that wives should cook eggs in the way their husbands like them. While this is going on, James takes Nath swimming at the Y, but the other kids pick on him and call him racist names. Marilyn comes up with a plan to leave her family, finish her undergraduate degree at a community college in Toledo, and then finally go to medical school, which has been her dream since she was a child. She writes James a note to tell him why she is going, but then she rips it up and leaves without leaving a note. Her family is shocked that she just up and left. As time goes on after Lydia's death, both the police and the news report that she was lonely. Most stories say that she probably killed herself. Marilyn says that this is not true and that Lydia was very happy and loved school. She and James get into a fight, and Marilyn says James is too nice to the cops. Nath and Hannah walk to the lake at the same time. When Nath sees Jack, he wants to hit him, but Hannah stops him. Nath says that he thinks Jack had something to do with Lydia's death. He also says that Lydia fell into the lake years ago, before Hannah was born. The story goes back to the summer when Marilyn went missing. James calls the cops to help him find her, but he has already found the pieces of her note that she tore up, so he knows she left on her own. James doesn't make good meals for the kids, the family rarely leaves the house, and all three of them spend most of their time doing nothing but waiting for Marilyn to come home. Nath is able to take his mind off of things because he has recently become interested in space. He is thrilled to watch the news coverage of the launch of the Gemini 9 space trip. James hits him, though, when he tries to tell him about it. Marilyn studies hard in Toledo and quickly gets back to how good she used to be at science work. But she misses her family so much that she calls them every day and doesn't say anything. Marilyn gets a lot of dizzy spells and passes out one day. When she wakes up in the hospital, she finds out she is pregnant. James gets a call from a nurse, and Marilyn decides that she has to go home and give up on her dream of becoming a doctor for good. Lydia tells Marilyn back in Middlewood that she lost the Betty Crocker recipe, but she actually hid it because she knew it would make her mother sad. Marilyn thinks this means Lydia doesn't want to follow standard gender roles, so she promises to help her daughter study science and become a doctor. On the other hand, Lydia promises to do whatever her mother asks to keep her from going again. A few days later, Nath and Lydia go to the lake. When they get there, Nath feels angry that his parents like Lydia more than he does. He pushes her into the lake, and she almost drowns before Nath saves her. What happened doesn't get told to their parents. During those 10 years, the world is shaken by major political events and changes in social norms, such as the gains of the women's freedom movement. James and Marilyn are still very interested in Lydia. James tells her to go to parties and make lots of friends, and Marilyn puts her in college-level science classes. Marilyn says Lydia is a genius, but she doesn't know that Lydia is failing physics and barely passing biology. When Lydia finds a letter from Harvard telling Nath that he has been accepted into the class of 1981, she hides it in a last-ditch effort to keep Nath in Middlewood. But eventually, another letter comes, and Nath finds out that he did get in. Lydia suddenly says that she is failing physics, which makes Nath angry and stops the family from celebrating. At Christmas, James gives Lydia three self-help books with tips on how to make friends. Lydia acts happy but she is actually crushed by this gift. Lydia wants to be friends with Jack at school, but he doesn't believe her when she says she doesn't care about physics and wants to smoke. Jack asks Lydia what it's like to be the only non-white girl in school. Lydia tells him that everyone thinks they know something about her. The story jumps ahead to show that the Lees are still having trouble after Lydia's death. James and Marilyn don't talk to each other much, and when Nath tells James that he smells like Louise's cologne, James yells at his son. Officer Fisk calls the family to tell them that the police are ending their investigation and deciding that Lydia's death was a suicide. This causes Marilyn and James to fight a lot. 
James leaves house and doesn't come back. Nath tells Marilyn that James is probably at Louisa's place. Marilyn talks to Louisa, who says she doesn't know where James is, even though he is in her flat. Marilyn tells Louisa that if she sees James, she should tell him that Marilyn will see him at home. She knows that Louisa is lying. Three months before Lydia died, Nath is getting more and more suspicious that the friendship between Lydia and Jack is sexual and based on manipulation. But when they get together, they just smoke and talk, and Jack starts showing Lydia how to drive. Lydia has accepted that Nath is going to college, but she still hopes that as soon as she gets her driver's license, she will be able to drive away from her family. James gives Lydia a silver locket for her early 16th birthday. At first, Lydia is thrilled, but then she sees a picture of herself inside that was taken before the ninth grade dance that James made her go to. James takes Lydia to take her DMV test on her birthday, but she fails. Lydia is really angry, but she acts happy at dinner with her family. Hannah sees that Lydia is about to give up. Marilyn talks to James about Louisa in the weeks after Lydia's death. She says that Louisa seems docile and would make a nice little wife. James says that Marilyn must be sorry that she married him because it makes her different. Marilyn says that what really makes her sad is that she couldn't follow her dream of becoming a doctor. James leaves the house in the end. Marilyn finds a Betty Crocker cookbook in Lydia's room and starts to understand that Lydia was only pretending to be interested in science to be close to her. While this is going on, Nath buys whiskey and drinks alone until he feels sick. Officer Fisk finds him and takes him home. Officer Fisk's care is so different from how Nath's parents treat him that Nath starts to cry. The next to last part starts a few days before Lydia dies. Nath goes to Harvard to see the school, and even though he tells Lydia he will call, he never does. The next night, Lydia calls Nath to ask how the visit is going. He tells her in a rude way how things are going and then hangs up. The next day, Lydia puts on her best dress and lipstick and tries to get Jack to like her after school. Jack turns her down and tells her that he's really in love with Nath. Even though Jack tells Lydia this in a nice way, she is very angry and says she will tell the whole school. She sneaks out of her room at 2 a.m. that night and goes to the lake. She decides that all of her problems started the summer Nath pushed her into the water and she tells herself that she can fix everything if she rows out, jumps in, and swims back to shore. It'll be okay, is the last thing Lydia says to herself before she jumps. The last chapter goes back to the time after Lydia died. After he fights with Marilyn, James gets in his car and drives away, but then he turns around and goes back to Middlewood. At home, he plays with Hannah. He is sad, but Hannah's love makes him feel better. That night, Marilyn and James sleep in the same bed and feel closer to each other than they have in years. The next morning, Nath talks to Jack about Lydia. Even though Jack knows he didn't do anything wrong, he lets Nath hit him. Hannah pushes Nath into the lake in the end to stop him from hurting Jack anymore. Nath thinks about how he will never see Lydia again and all the things that will happen in the future that he won't be able to tell her. He swims toward the top staring at Hannah's face the whole time. About the author. Celeste Ng was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. When she was 10, her family moved to Shaker Heights, Ohio. In the 1960s, her parents came from Hong Kong to the United States to start a new life. Her father was a scientist who worked for NASA, and her mother was a chemist who taught at Cleveland State University. Ng has an older sister, and she has said that the character of Hannah in Everything I Never Told You was based on her own experience as the youngest kid. She went to Harvard University and studied English there. After she graduated from Harvard, she went to the University of Michigan to get a Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing. She has written short stories and essays that have been featured in a number of literary magazines. Everything I Never Told You was her first novel. Little Fires Everywhere, her second book, will be released in September 2017. Ng lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts, with her husband and son. She teaches fiction at the Grub Street Creative Writing School, where she also works.
Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.